waiting on you. Oh, you're waiting on me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I've already put one layer of Shetland on here. I'm applying a layer of alpaca. All right. I'm going to apply another layer of alpaca before I start to bring the silk into the picture. Please ignore the light. If you see lightning outside, we're having some storms tonight, so. All right, here's the hard stuff. This is where I'm really having difficulty. It's probably where most of it's going on. Here's that. Angles a little bit. There we go. What's going on is onto the surprisingly onto the drum fairly neatly. Uh, I'm just gonna do it like this. Here. I know it's not supposed to hang on to it, but yet get some more wool onto there. A bit more. These are all rovings that were either done by Stonehenge or by Wooly Knob. So these are prepared rovings, and then the silk obviously is a commercial uh, silk, Tessa silk. Some more alpaca. It doesn't go on too much at a time. You can see from the drum it's quite splotchy. Add a little more silk in here. Please. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse the sneezes. Do you want that fiber on the edge of the No, fiber? I don't want that fiber. I don't want the silk yet. I'm adding some more alpaca here. Shetland. All right, here we go. More silk. Got a lot more silk than I thought to go. Maybe I didn't put enough in the first time, or it just am I putting too much in to begin with? It's a good question for what this type of drum carding can handle. All right, back over to the alpaca. More alpaca. This is a very fine Korea fleece, which was multicolored. Well, you see some streaks of uh, brown in there. That was white and something else. A pinto of some sort. There we go. All 
right. Here's the last the alpaca for this bat. On there, you see that? And my faithful cameraman, thank you very much, Jerry. Faithful cameraman, spindler extraordinaire, and long suffering husband who does all kinds of conniptions to do these things for me. Okay, this is the first pass. Now I'm going to show you my how I take it off the drum. And then I'll let you evaluate. All right, here's this. Using the picker, proper picker. Okay. Now, I do have a dog brush I use, but I'm careful, try to be careful to lift up stuff but not get stuff in there. If it looks like it's tangled, I pick it out. So I'm leaving stuff behind again. And there's the first pass. So, first pass, I'll drop that back down. It looks like a generic layered bat. Right now, I'll tighten this back down. Just keep everything together. And this is how I, I won't put everything on here, but I just want you to see what I do with the bat itself. At this point, split it in two strips, have the strips, and then kind of spread them out and apply them to the drum. I'll do this again so you can see this again. Take this, pull it, split it apart, kind of spread it out, and then apply it to the drum. Okay, now I'm going to submit this for evaluation and see what happens. Thank you. I'm done.